God, step on me, man. What? Who said that? Who said that? We don't got much here, bros. It's a singular scan. Okay. All looks like she has freezers level one. Okay. That's pretty much all they gave us. I, I, I don't even know if she beats you up with her coat. You can hook me up with a 50% discount on Game Pass. I mean, right now I know on Discord, you, you there's free Game Pass, but maybe after that. 21 looking real cute right now. That's what I'm saying, man. Look at her. She's a total babe. I wish I knew what was written here, but yeah. This is definitely just Freeze's level 1, right? Kid Boo's level 3. Is the they really like big balls, don't they, as supers, huh? Yeah, I've noticed that in Dragon Ball. They really like big balls as supers. I really wonder what they're going to do with her, though. I wonder... So, usually when scans come out, how often do trailers come out after it, right? Aren't they usually like a week apart, two weeks apart or something like that? What up, Snoopy? Hopefully you can get Super Vegito. I don't think you'll get Super Saiyan Vegito. I, I, I can't possibly see how they could make him a different character with different moves. She apparently has 21's air level 3 except it's a different animation. Where did you read that? Yeah, how the hell? Uh, yeah, battle hours in a month, dog. Battle hours in a whole ass month, dude. That's February 18th to the 20th. Supers, total detonation, boss, similar level 3 party, it's Baby and Vegeta, excellent. Uh. Oh, this is from Xenoverse, I would have to assume, right? She's probably got a moveset in Xenoverse if she's in that game. We don't need any more clone characters, bro. There's so much more they can do in terms of variety. Yeah, but this was an easy character for them because her model's already in the game. But we'll see where it'll go. I, w I really wish these scans gave me more than nothing, right? Our expectations were low, but damn. Every time we get a scan, our expectations were low, but damn. I'll take Super Saiyan Vegito or Super Saiyan 4 Vegito. You're more likely to get Super Saiyan 4, Goku, and Vegeta. The models are already in the game. Well, not necessarily models. But they definitely have them in the game already. Yeah, they showed nothing new except the ball. They're just gonna take the concept they have from the Super Saiyan 4, Gogeta fusion. They just go from there. The mediocre 26 second trailer, where half the trailer is just the outro, I'm so ready. We'll see when it comes out. I hope it's not a bad trailer. I hope it's solid. I hope it's not another base Goku six second trailer. In fact, let's watch one of those. Those are good trailers. Let's watch one. All right. I look forward to tw Lab Droid 21. Hopefully, she's not, you know, a bum. And she's a pretty cool character. Hopefully, unique. Hopefully, she beats you up with her coat. And uh, yeah, all we see is an orb super. You know, woke up this morning. I was like, what's on Twitter? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Holy shit, Microsoft bought Blizzard? Can we get rid of Bobby Kotick though? Yeah, so Microsoft took saw a, a, an opportunity. That's crazy, right? Cream, cash rules, anything around. Anyways, anyways, back, back, back to the subject at hand, right? I hope the bastards get what they deserve at blizzard first and foremost i hope what you get right you deserve what's coming to you right you sons of bitches and make that abundantly apparent okay so this is crazy this is huge right further every day we stray further from why should you buy a playstation you know which i it's crazy to think right because the, the xbox uh the Xbox has been in shambles lately, dude, but man, every, every couple months, dude, they just buy a new studio, right? They buy a new studio, and you're like, whatever, they buy a new studio, you're like, whatever, and then they bought Blizzard, and you're like, oh, shit. Oh, what's gonna happen? Is this a, is this good for us gamers? I'm thinking, yeah? I'm thinking, yeah, man. I think this is pretty solid, right? Microsoft doesn't really have too bad of a track record their latest console is kind of a, bu a, a bust i mean yeah sure place sony right at least on sony you still have spider-man okay but the power of the amount of exclusives they have 
or they can have, right, and will have, really do be out here, okay? The, well, I had to pull up what studios do they own, right? So, here's a list of studios they own, right? Okay, it's just a bunch of IPs that they have. They have ID Software, which is Doom Eternal, right? Machine Games, Wolfenstein, Roadhouse Studios, Ruin 2, Tango Gameworks, Evil Within, Ghostwire, Alpha Dog, Arcane Studios, right? Beth Bethesda, this is huge. This is, this is one, man, this one, whew. Bro, all you Dweebenheimers out there. All you doing Imers out there that like Bethesda games, Bethesda, I don't even know how you say it, man. I'm gonna have somebody in the comments, gonna, they're gonna be like, actually, crying five, it's the friend islands, and then they're gonna spell it out, they're gonna get it from the Webster Dictionary, dude. Man. And then, of course, all the stuff they had previously, right? 343. Apparently, the new Halo is actually pretty good, from what I've heard, so that's good news. As an old Halo fan, I'm still not gonna play it. Chrome, I, I have two friends that like Fallout. I, I've seen Fallout, I watched it, it's not for me, right? Uh, God, what's another big one? Ninja Theory, Obsidian Games, South Park, man! When's the next South Park game? I gotta play these South Park games on stream, dude. I just gotta find out what I can and can't stream. Gears? I remember when Gears was good. I heard Sea of Thieves is really good, so this is good to have under your belt. Bro, this is insane. They could have so many exclusives, right, to, to PC and Xbox. You, I, yeah, I like the original Gears trilogy as well. So, not only do they have all these studios under their belt, but they also have Game Pass, right? They also have Game Pass, okay? Game Pass, for those of you that don't know, is basically the Netflix for gamers. It's pretty much all it is. It's just Netflix for gamers, right? You buy the Game Pass, you get access to all these games, right? And on Discord, they have, like, a deal going on where you get, like, a month free of Game Pass or something like that. It's kind of, remember, what was it called? Netfly? Ne what was it called? Yeah, do you remember Netfly? Net what was it? Was it Netfly? Where you would, is it two to three months of free Game Pass? Company pays for it. Nice. They, it was... A gaming service where you would pick games from their catalog and they would mail them to you. Gamefly! Thank you! Yeah, man! Remember Gamefly? Bro. Damn. Huh? I know, but I can feel my bones turning into dust. Gamefly was innovative as hell. For those of you that don't know what it was, it's just as I said, right? Those of you that are wee little babies that were that were born after prehistoric times. Gamefly was, like I said, you pick a game from the catalog, right? They ship it out to you. Yeah. We very prehistoric, dude. Anyway, so yeah, you pick a game from the catalog, they would ship it out to you, right? But now you cut the middle, man. It's just, everything's digital now, you know? Everyone, everyone needs stuff now, 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 now. I want it now. But yeah, Gamefly was lit. I think my brother had it. But man. Overwatch, Diablo, Call of Booty. Is it World of Warcraft in shambles right now? Maybe they can fix it. Last I heard, World of Warcraft is not doing very good, and everybody went to Final Fantasy XIV. Candy Crush is still a thing? Bro. The, the only people I know that play Candy Crush are old people. Creators of Call of Duty, Warcraft, Candy Crush, Tony Hawk. Oh, that's right. Diablo, Overwatch, Spyro, Hearthstone, Guitar Hero. Damn, dude! StarCraft and War join Team Xbox. Oh, man, there's so many IPs that they have now! Dude! Dude, right? Yo, Thug 1 and 2 remake? When? Thug 1 and 2 Tony Hawk's Underground? When, bro? When? Alright, anyways, the Fantastic franchise is across Activision Blizzard, but also accelerate our plans for cloud gaming. That's me! Oh shit, that's Allowing me! Allowing more people in more places around the world to participate in the Xbox community using phones, tablets, laptops, and other devices you already own. Activision Blizzard games are enjoyed on a variety of platforms, and we plan to continue to support... We plan to continue to support those communities moving forward. As a company, Microsoft is committed to our journey for inclusion in every aspect of gaming. Hmm, inclusion, you say, huh? Hmm. 
Mm, this car. We gotta see in these coming months, dude, who gets fired. Talk about inclusion, huh? A lot of people in your company that don't know the definition. That don't know the meaning of those words. Mm. Anyways, the creatives... Okay, anyways. As a company, Microsoft's commit to our journey for inclusion in every aspect of gaming among both employees and players. We deeply value individual studio cultures. We also believe that creative success and autonomy go hand in hand with treating every person with dignity and respect. Alright, like I said, you spitting right now. Alright? We gotta see you spitting. We don't wanna see you swallow because we need to see you spitting because you're kind of spitting. So make sure you don't swallow. Make sure you spit. Okay? It's the only time you wanna see you spitting, alright? We hold all teams and all leaders to this commitment. We're looking forward to extending our culture of proactive inclusion to the great teams across Activision. Alright, chat. They've made the statement. If they don't uphold the statement, dude, shit gonna hit the fan. I, ho I hope they keep their promise to get rid of all the shitheads, right, that are in Blizzard and Bobby Kotick. Make sure you get rid of Bobby Kotick. Oh my god, go. He is the devil. He is the anti-gamer Chris. But anyways, so this looks promising. The one thing I wonder is, now that, you know, Game Pass is looking like it's working, right? You know, the Netflix for games. Is there going to be more? Are we going to see more services like this pop up? Because I'm not about it. You know, I don't like that you need to have 10 different subscriptions to watch 10 different shows, you know. You gotta have Amazon Prime, you gotta have Netflix, you gotta have, uh, Hulu, HBO Max, yeah, Paramount Plus, 2B Disney Plus, bro, stop, that's too much. And they wonder why people pirate. They wonder why people pirate. Hmm. Oh, okay, but yeah, totally over their head. More like the Microsoft employee and shareholder privilege. Yeah, you're right. They still got Spider-Man though. Sony still got Spider-Man. You gotta remember that one for the one time. Dude, man, Microsoft is becoming such a massive powerhouse, bro. They were already beefy. Now they're beefy beefy. Now they're on steroids. They do got Spider-Man, God of War. That's not true anymore. God of War's on on Steam, right? View page. Thank you. Yeah. That's factually wrong, bro. Literally, literally proved wrong on stream in seconds. So they don't even have God of War anymore, right? Maybe as a timed exclusive, you know, for the next one. But I can't imagine them just making it a complete exclusive. Bro, what's the point of getting a console again? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. For those of you that have consoles, what's the point? Everything's coming to PC. It's all coming together. It's all coming together. Fighting games? Yeah, the stream deck, the Steam Deck will hopefully solve that issue. PC ports suck ass. You'll never know a PC port sucks ass if you don't play it on console. Boo, you stink! Come on, man. Don't forget to like, sub, comment, alright? And tune into the stream.